Are you a Muslim convert? A boy Muslim struggling with the Quran? You are even at the brink of losing hope? I have struggled with the Quran for the first 11 years of my life and I didn't understand a thing. I couldn't point out an Ali. But today I will recite the Quran like this. <laughs> So is the Quran really difficult? Today I will get you through the whole of my journey and what Allah Himself even said about the Quran. If it's simple or difficult. This isn't going to be a boring lecture, but a vlog. So come with me. We are to always answer the salam, so do that now. As we know, the Quran are the direct words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He has said a lot of things about it, and He has even said it if it is simple or not. But regardless of it, we all know that to every general rule, there is an exception. Do you know the verse that talked about the simplicity or the hardness of the Quran? Do drop a comment below if you know that. If you don't know it, do not worry. That is why I'm here. I'm all here for you. We will go through all this together, inshallah. And besides that, we ain't just going to do some boring talks. No, come on. I don't really love school, except of the hostel part of school. As such, we are going to pump her Oh, baby. Let me show you. Ta-da! All right, this is my Quran. This is 60 His divided into two His each. So as you can see, I've numbered them. This is number two. It is one to six. This is number six. Number six is Jews Amma. Jews Amma, you see, from Nas to Jafia. Jafia, number 33. Number five. Number one, number one is Surah Al-Baqarah. It's from up to down. However, all these things, I would, it will be another video of showing you how I organize the Quran. As you can see, I have my sticky notes telling me, oh, this is another video for another day though. But for now, we are going to pamper this. You see, this is not how it came. I was the one that actually wrapped them they have been wrapped in this white paper to fit my studio team as you can see even the walls are well everything I love it to be this team so but then these are white hmm and I have some books here actually but guys this is an embarrassment to call my Quran subhanallah no I don't want it to be like this I want it to be super Duber knee and this one it came like um, half of this so I split the pack and crafted it into this which I actually love but we need to make it much more beautiful as you can see even this little tape I used is orange so it's not looking that cute but we're going to make it cute even unrecognizable we would make it look like Ashwal Alwal, like we would make it really represent this channel well, inshallah. So guys, I will tell you some of the benefits as we do this. And see, you're going to follow me around. I have errands to run. I have a lot of things to do today. So. And now you all, it's time for us to get what we are decorating with and... Yeah, one is there and the other one is there. Right, I'm going to the 
yes we have our leather in here I'm going to use this butterfly uh or with this butterfly i think because my laptop is ash so it will go well with the pink and this i think will go well oh see how it is already going well <laughs> with the sticky nose colors and all i think it will really match up very well with the quran so let's remove the leather we're using now so you all i am planning on discussing on this profoundly so i want to take my time it's going to be a bit of a long video here so if you got your food or anything bring it down because i'm also bringing my food and a bit when i'm hungry and that is why we have this i have jotted down a lot of points because i don't even want to miss out on anything i love you guys as much i don't like writing you guys but i wrote a whole lot just to come and show you guys a lot of pages here with the points but it's all fine inshallah so long as we will all gain here that i think we can really design with and yes this we would design with this and a bit of the black or we would just design with this i think this will go fine with our team inshallah yeah i think that is what we will do inshallah we will just go with this and perhaps perhaps just perhaps do we need to put all this we will just see how it would go Alhamdulillah, we are beginning to prep it for the transformation. One point just pop up in my head. And this point proves that the Quran is absolutely simple. And this is it. The Quran is simple because it is full of repetition. If you look through the whole of the Quran, if I say something like, do you know how many surahs you can get this in? You'll find it up there in the middle of the Quran, at the towards the ending of the Quran. You'll find it just scattered everywhere. There are even bonus uh, surahs on their own, something like Surah Al Rahman. This surah, Surah Al Rahman, oh my god, do you know that famous verse in there? Fabi ayi ala i think more than half of the surah is just the repetition of this particular verse i have just recited now so how isn't it that simple imagine if a teacher comes and they're only putting in very few formulas in there and there's just one formula that keeps repeating itself so, wouldn't you even wish that it comes out in the examination? Okay, let me start from verse 17 of Surah Rahman. Rabbul Mashriqaini wa Rabbul Maghribain Fa bi ayyi alai rabbikuma tukadhiban Maraj al-Bahraini yaltaqiyan Bainahuma barzakhullah yabdiyan Again Fabi ayyi alai rabbikuma tukadhiban Yakhruju minhuma al-lu'u wal-marujan Fabi ayyi alai rabbikuma tukadhiban وَلَهُ الْجَوَارِ الْمُنْشَآتُ فِي الْبَحْرِ كَالْأَعْلَامِ فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Imagine how many times we've said فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ Just from verse 17 
to verse 25. We've said it one, two, three, four times. <laughs> oh my God, four times. Oh, come on. The Quran is simple in this way because you don't, you don't need to learn it again. Once you've learned the first phobi, wherever you see it is the same. You don't have to learn the next one. And there is a similar example also in another surah, Surah Al-Mursalat, which is the surah before Surah Al-Nabai. It has a lot of repetition of one particular verse. Can you guess it? <laughs> okay, if you can, let's do it together. And that is This one is so many here also. If I would recite it now, it would drag this video to be longer than what it's supposed to be. But if you get what I'm saying, apart from this one, if you take number four, let's see. Let's just open to something random and this is Surah Nur and randomly we are at Surah Nur number 21 and the first thing there is Ya Ayyuhalladheena Amanu Now Ya Ayyuhalladheena Amanu If you just walk in here and I'm saying Ya Ayyuhalladheena Amanu what, what portion of the Quran do you think I'm reciting? Even if you are happy, you won't really be able to pick without the next thing because Ya Ayyuhalladheena Amanu is in so many places in the Quran. It's in just a lot of surahs in the Quran. So you see why the Quran is simple? Because it has a lot of repetition in there. So don't be scared of the Quran. It is absolutely simple. At least by point number one, we're able to say it is simple. Let's see what the next point has to say to us. If you have gained anything at all up to this point of this video or you're gaining something or is this interesting to you make sure you subscribe to this channel turn on the all notification button so that you would be notified each time i release a video and also you can follow me on instagram where you can connect with me through my content on personal development and islamic education basically a very new place so there's absolutely nothing to show here but it's more than nothing I didn't even get the apple I was looking for so I'll have to go out to find the apple for my mom we are now here see how empty this place is are. they're all very much empty we are really like down there already Basically all the places are so empty and they've been like this like from the start. They're always always like this. Hmm? Uh, see how very much empty this place is and it's a very very big space. Down there there are shelves. I don't know, they're kind of like offices or so you get. And then these places are very much empty also. I was asking the guy if 
there is a mask because his brother was saying he went to pray the main guy of the shop and I was told that there isn't a mask so probably one of those places would be the mask or whatever but there are usually masks in uh, uh, the markets here in Abuja even if it is a very small mask this is another section Another point proving that the Quran is simple is that once you learn it, there is no updating. Like never. Not even an alif is coming down now to say we are adding to the Quran. As you can see, the Quran has no Old Testament and New Testament. The Quran is one several thousand years ago. It was revealed and up to today we are still using it and it would be used the way we are using it up to the end of times so by doing that it makes it very much easier for us as Muslims so that we would be able to concentrate on other aspects of our lives not necessarily chasing New Testaments every time and I can so much relate and tell you how important that is because as a lawyer I know how laws acts all those things have been updated every time if you finish with karma you're going to the law of your state you're going to the appeal court and so on just like when we were at the law school immediately after our sets of the law school karma that is companies and allied matters act is the law that regulates companies and all that in Nigeria immediately with me from law school during our set the karma that was being used got updated and many things were being changed which means even after studying that aspect of law for a whole year if I'm being asked the following year to produce an act or quote a section from that same book that I have studied I might quote it wrongly because things have now been changed and there have been an updating of this law, this act, this section, subsection, whatever. But the Quran is so simple, mashallah, it will never change. The way you see Alif Lam Mim, tomorrow we are not waking up to say, oh no, that has been abolished and in fact it is Alif Lam Mim Ram Ham and we will start thinking of how to get a new teacher and get to follow up and chase. She's got a friend and she's very very shy. Say hi to my vlog. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Just look to this place. Uh -oh. Look to eat and talk. Look to eat and talk. All right guys my friend is so shy. <laughs> What's your name then? Francis. What? What? Francis. My friend's name is Francis. Nice to see you too, Francis. Bye. Bye. Hmm? Why? You should even open the channel yourself. Bye. Bye, -bye. Love you. <laughs> No, no. Not the video. Yeah, I love this guy. No, no, go there. No, no. Two fifty, four five hundred, three five hundred. Two fifty. The green and green and the green. Green no five hundred. She want no five hundred. I just saw this very beautiful flowers like you guys. Oh, I just love See? Uh, oh, this place is just full of green. Alright, another reason I think the Quran is simple is that it has the same Tajweed ruling. 
So if you see the rule of noon mushaddada, meme mushaddada, huruf al-qalqala, any of the muds or any other type of lesson you would take in tajweed for surah to nas, ikhlas, whatever surah it is, it applies from that point up till bakara. So you see, how isn't it simple? For God's sake, it's very simple. Now, if you say Alif, the whole of Quran, Alif is one. If you say Ba, it's, the whole of it is Ba. So it's very simple that way, you know? And the rule that applies, they say, what is the rule of Noon Mushaddada? The rule of Noon Mushaddada, that is a Noon that has a Shadda, is Gunna. So if you are to make a Gunna for it whilst reciting Surah Al Hajj, then you would the rule still applies wherever you see that same noon mashadada in the Quran. How isn't it simple for God's sake? There isn't uh, there isn't a level for it to say, okay, once you're done with um Juz Amma, the remaining ones, okay, you have graduated from from elementary school, primary school to okay, secondary school, that is high school, and now the rule is slightly different or majorly different now because you are in Surah Al Ali Imran. It is never like that, and up to the end of times. So, how isn't it simple? In my opinion, I think that is very simple, you know. But let's see what you think. I have just arrived at the very smallest mosque we have here in my area all right since it is not almost my grip I don't know if I can just enter and film a bit all right sweet minara another plane you guys Since there's no one here, probably I can cry. But let me give you a sneak peek of what a mosque is like here in this area. Someone is actually sleeping. So, hi you guys, hi you guys. <laughs> Let's just pick a random Quran here. Uh, okay, let's open to any surah. This is Surah to Sword. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sword. Welcome to the Dikir. Banilladina kafaru fi izzati wa shikoko. Alright, this is how random this place is. <laughs> Does the ablution center, and I think this wheelbarrow must have belonged to the person sleeping in there. That's the restroom. This is the top. This should be there is water. Mashallah, mashallah, you guys. I just finish eating. What a neat person, you know. <laughs> All right, and this is the. And this is the mosque, you guys. I think this person is selling something. Okay, there are now two. There is only 
one for an in this entire world you don't have to bother about it being too bulky as there is just one for and there is no volume one no volume two no volume ten no any type of subsection sections volumes or new version or whatever it is of the quran one quran it is just one quran another thing you don't need to bother about the quran which makes it a very simple book to relate with and a very simple message to relate with is that there isn't a different quran for different races geographical location or anything like that Quran that is meant for me, a black Nigerian African here as I'm speaking to you, is the same Quran that is meant for someone in China. It is the same Quran that a person in Saudi Arabia would be using also. So now if I'm to go to Korea, let's say I'm to go to even not Korea now and I happen to forget my Quran. I don't have to worry about oh my god what am I going to pray with because I can easily enter into their mosque and find any Quran and I know I can relate with the Quran and even if I'm to find myself in a place where I can't use the internet and I don't even have the Quran there my friend the friend that I made in the particular city or village only has a Quran app that is specific to their location that has been downloaded for them i can actually use that app without thinking of oh my god i've forgotten my nigerian version of an app which is different from that of those people that speak mandarin here somewhere very far in china so you see mashallah the quran is actually very simple and it is a blessing for us alhamdulillah okay see this one said Hi loves! Here we are at Sahaj. I'm here to run an errand and I'm waiting for somebody who is in a meeting right now. So what would I be doing? I just thought to say hello to you guys and continue our point as to whether the Quran is simple or not. Now one of the things that I come up with is that I thought is that it is easier for you to remember a song than to remember word for word a story that is written in a textbook. We can't remember exactly what everyone said in the sequence, but if it comes in a song, it's very easy to remember it. Just like our primary school, that is elementary school, nursery school songs, up to now that we are adults, we still remember many of them. Yes sir, yes sir, three best food. This is a conversation we remember it. But can you remember a conversation that took place word for word in one of the textbooks you have read even during that time? You really most likely would not be able to. And so is the Quran. You know, I remember I was um, in an area one time and he was in an area specifically and someone had the Quran really excited and he was asking me, excuse me please, what song are they, are they singing? And that was the Quran playing actually. So you see, and from the melody and everything, it really, really resembles a song. So it's easier for you to remember the Quran being that it is in the form of a song than if it were to be that Inna Ma'al Usri Yusra Fa'ida you would have to think and this is very evident because I thought in the Northry school, Northry 2 specifically where you teach them the multiplication table if at random I just get a child and ask him 4 times 4 they would have to think before coming up with the answer but if I just bring it in the form of a song 
3 times 1, 3, 3 times 2 before you even say it. They already say the, the, the answer because it smoothly is arranged in their head already because it comes in the form of a song. So, this point clear, guys. Another point to look at is the melody keeps you going. The way people just recite the same place but differently. If you don't like the way this person recites, you would like the way this other person recites. Or even the same person can recite a particular place with different ruayas. Even in one ruaya, you can decide to change the melody or the tune of how you recite a particular verse that it will turn into two different sounds saying the same thing. And Alhamdulillah, that is one of the blessings of the Quran and that makes it simple because you can listen to something boring for so long. You get, if there is only one strict way of how to recite it and the voice or the fall and the raise of the tune would have to be a certain way, you would get bored of it and you might just close your Quran and never get back to it. But because now we have, even you yourself can recite one verse in three, four, even five or many other different ways. Uh, okay, if you try it this way now and it's not interesting to your ears and you just are tempted to close your Quran, you might want to change your tune to another way and it might just interest you that you would like to move to the second verse. I would like to give you a practical example of this and that is why I open up the Surah to Yusuf. I would recite it in two different ways so you see how one reciter, one rewire can actually change the tune to become two different tunes or three or more even making the Quran easy to bond with because it's interesting. <laughs> This is one way to recite it. I'm the same reciter, I'm still using the same rewire, which is rewire to have. Now let me recite it another way. Another reason why the Quran is simple is because Allah said so. In Surah Al-Qamr, that is Quran 54, verse 22, 32, and 40, he has mentioned the same thing over and over again. I don't know if there are other sources in the Quran, in the Hadith, or where, but I am certainly sure of this one. Allah said that he has made the Quran easy for remembrance, easy for us to remember it. Shortly, I would give you a proof of that that has happened in my own life and another person's life that I know of. Besides that, if Allah said so, even if you can rationalize it now, then it is so. The next reason why the Quran is actually simple and not difficult is that it sticks to your brain for the longest time. You see, there is this woman that I know who is in her 50s. For the whole 50 years and above of this person's life, she never prays, she never has any connection with the Quran whatsoever, doesn't have an interest 
he's not even learning it secretly or anything and this person i know personally very well and up to today i know this person very very well has no connection with the quran the child of this person was asking her to recite the quran and surprisingly she recited surah al-ikhlas from the beginning to the end without mixing up the verses perfectly like how of course the tajweed wouldn't be like really on point and all that but the sequence of the verses was on point and everything she was saying was on point the only thing that has the problem is just the tajweed but who cares about the tajweed like we are even flabbergasted how on earth did this thing remain in your head since childhood for over 50 years did you see how the quran stays and sticks to your brain for the longest period of time and forget about this person we can say okay you don't still know you don't sleep with her um, you don't know if she still research it but okay forget about her story this is my personal story throughout from birth up to the end of my elementary school that is my primary school i never understand anything of the quran and my primary school happened to be an islamic school so the first thing we always learn in the morning we have quranic classes before the usual uh, western education curriculum starts so how is it that i didn't understand anything of the quran if you're teaching me I'll, I'll only turn the page if my peers turn the page because I don't really know. If you say point Alif, Wallahi, I don't know. Where is Jim? I don't know. What surah are you? Probably I'll tell you Surah Tul Falak, but okay, open to the surah. I don't know. So, but the miracle of the Quran and the proof that it stays in your brain for the longest is that. As much as I didn't know anything, and I, I always take the lessons every time, I never knew it until after my primary school. When I got to secondary school, which is the high school, I didn't just recall everything I was being taught when I was in the Islamic school because now I'm not even in an Islamic environment. Now I'm in an, an, an environment totally parallel to Islam. There is no one teaching me. I don't even hear the Quran. I don't hear nothing. This was when everything came back. Now I don't. I don't. I didn't just remember it like um, hazily. No. In fact, I could teach. I I begin to teach my peers that this is to tell you you should keep going on the Quran. You should never lose hope. It doesn't matter if you've taken. 10, 20, 30 years without you ever knowing it, despite your consistent effort to learn it. Because as much as you don't know, Wallahi, Allah have stored it in your brain. And someday, by His will, when the time is the best for it to come out, Allah will make you realize that. So do not skip classes or do not even abandon the Quran because it's been long. Come on, I've not been learned. I've not, I've not still wished anywhere. No. That thing you think is not happening is actually happening in your subconscious. So Allah will bring it out when the time is best. The Allah's timing is always the best because I never knew I would leave that Islamic school. However, I did left it. And the only thing I was much more interested in the Quran is like dream come true. Like, oh my God, I know how to recite this. I know this, I know this. Like, it just kept me going like, oh my God. So I found myself being a teacher in the environment where I didn't now have a teacher. And I found myself bonding with the people that know better than me in that environment. That is why a lot of part of the Quran that I later learned, I learned it through my friends because i bonded with them we have this discussion oh my god i don't know how to recite this but i now know it okay they will say okay you know how to recite this but this there is a correction here okay oh, and they really helped me to bond with the quran i cannot thank allah more and appreciate his wisdom more than the time that it actually came out and which is actually the best time had i learned it before and i was perfect when i was in the Islamic environment probably I wouldn't put my head to it when I left the environment because I would assume I already know but now that I don't have anyone to tell me or anything to connect me with the Quran naturally it became very interesting to me because I never knew it and now it's just like coming all out and people are now beginning to commend me for reciting it 
and they are beginning to come to me as a teacher and mashallah as we continue the video i would love you to be part of our little family so you should definitely subscribe to this channel turn on the all notification button so that you would be notified each time i release a video and also do make sure you share this video so that it would serve as a sado katanjaria for you inshallah by sharing it inshallah people that are scared to really go into the journey of learning the quran or people that have even lost hope might revive back their hopes and through that inshallah allah would reward you and of course like this video by liking it youtube would sense that it is a good video and it would recommend it to more people thereby also serving as a sadaqat in jariah for you inshallah and if there is any correction any opinion you have more tips and all that you have make sure you drop them in the comments we are a community i'm not a scholar um i'm just a muslim that is just trying my best to share what i have learned best with you guys through my experience and others so let's drop minds in the comments jazakumullah khairan so yes let's continue our video another reason to consider if the quran is simple or actually difficult is the fact that it is interesting or isn't it the quran is appealing to every gender every race every part of the world except for the people that are yet to come across the melody of the quran or a reciter of the quran that appeals to them you cannot say the quran is not interesting but probably the reciter you happen to hear that their voice or just the way they recite it isn't appealing to you yet because it's like that with the different type of people that we have in this world the way i recite the quran is definitely different from the way my mom recites it from the way my dad recites it my siblings the people of my community my friends other international guys and all other people the way we recite it is different so if you listen to me reciting the quran a particular surah let's say surah naziat and oh my god you just don't like it you don't vibe with me you don't like the way ashwar recites the quran you might now listen to sudais and oh my god the way sudais recites surat al naziat is just all above and beyond and you might just find yourself falling in love with that <sighs> so yes alhamdulillah you guys alhamdulillah i've given you about nine points now alhamdulillah to tell you if the quran is simple or not and by now you know it we all know it that the quran is one of the easiest books in the world to learn and this is coming from a person that have struggled with it for years so i didn't read it theoretically i'm not i'm not quoting theories here i have gone through it on my own and that is why i'm trying to encourage you here go pick back your quran and do not ditch it it's not difficult whatever you're struggling with could come down to probably the madrasa or the teacher because yes teachers affect you let me tell you something when i learned surah yusuf it wasn't because i was up to the place in the quran i actually learned it because i love the way that teacher recites the quran it was so encouraging that i it quickly became my favorite surah and the quran became much more interesting when that particular person was teaching me because it was challenging my tune so apart from learning the words i was learning how to drop and pick up my tunes at the same time so it was very interesting because i was i was trying out something new every time however we cannot deny that there are people that definitely this Quran would be much more difficult for them than it is for others just as i have struggled for it, with it for years some people never ever 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 struggled with the Quran in their lives some people took even longer years for them to realize it and some people would 
would actually struggle with it throughout their lifetimes. But how would you know if you are not one of those that will come out like me now? After struggling for some years, you would definitely pick it up. And besides, do you know that there is a special reward for those people who recite the Quran and in the process are having difficulty picking it up? There is a special reward, more reward for you than the person that just recites it without any problem. So there is a win-win. You struggling or no struggling is a win-win for you. What matters is your intention to learn it feasibly love and of course the fact that you are spending time with Allah and even taking Allah's things seriously is all. You don't know if that alone would be the reason you would enter into al jannah al Firdaus. So keep on going with the Quran. I'm here to encourage you if you need someone to talk to about the Quran. I'm all here for you and that is why I put out myself here and put out my story here because when I, when I came on the internet, you never knew that I struggled like that, right? But I'm deliberately sharing my story to you to encourage you to make you know that, okay, this person, if this person have gone through this and have come out like this, how about me? What if I'm even coming out better? And besides, even today, I'm not yet done with the Quran. There are things I still struggle with. But being with the experience I have already gone through, I know that I can conquer it. And if not in this world, probably in the next. And whatever we do, I know Allah is with us. And Alhamdulillah for Allah even choosing us to be part of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we even have interest to connect with the Quran one way or the other. So you guys, make sure you share this video on your Instagram stories, WhatsApp status, and even share it directly with your friends and family. May Allah make everything easy for us. 